Hello everyone. Today I would like to share with you how to use C or C++ in R. There are several ways to do it, and today we will focus on two. The first one is to use R command. I'm using Mac, and I have R installed on my computer. So if I type R dash dash help, we are going to use this one, which is to build the shared library from dynamic loading. So firstly, I will create a C file called hello.c and I will include the, the header file which is called r.h and then I will write a function with a return type void and the function name is hello. It takes a pointer to int as a parameter and I declare a variable of type int and then create a loop let i start from 0 and uh, less than the value of the parameter so I dereference it and then increase it each time so within the loop I will print off hello world by using r printf this function is just a wrapper of the printf from the C library. So hello world percent, which is a placeholder, and d corresponds to the integer type times the new line and uh, then the integer. And then the, at the end of the function, we will increase the parameter value by one. So we dereference it, increase it by one. So close, save and close. And now we call the R CMD SHLIB, then the file name. So if we check the folder, we can see now we have three files: the source file, the object file, and then the dynamic library. So now let's open an R session and uh, call dyn stand for dynamic dot load so hello dot so to load the library and then check by calling ace dot load load date hello it turns true so which means that this library is loaded success successfully so now now we call dot uppercase c and uh, then hello and then passing the parameter by calling s dot integer three. So now we can see that it will output hello world zero one two, and then return four. So why is four? Because at the end of the function we increase the parameter value by one. So it's, that's why it's returning four. So that, that's for the first method. And now let's look at the second method, which is to use RStudio and a package called R, RCPP. And uh, this, is the, this is the documentation for the, for the package, and uh, it's fairly easy to use. So what we are going to do is to click New, and then C++ file. R, RStudio will automatically create a template file for us, so the first line includes the header file called RCPP and then introduce the namespace RCPP and here the function we are going to export into R and the name is times2 the purpose is to increase the par parameter by 2 or double it so the, the type of the parameter is numeric vector and the, the return type is the same it corresponds to the vectors in R and the vectors are of double or float. So let's let's compile it by calling source. And first we need to save it. We call it times two dot cpp. And now the R Studio is calling the compiler and they return the value successfully. We can also use this function times to, to call a vector, say from 1 to 10. Now, each element of the vector is doubled. We can also use the new features from C++11. 
But before doing that, we need to introduce a new environment variable. So we in the console we call sys dot set e, and uh, in the bracket we call p k g c x x flex equals hyphen std equals c plus plus eleven. So it will let the compiler to to use the new features from C++ 11. And now, back to the file, we include a new header called tuple, which is available from C11, and also we include the header file for the string. And uh, then we introduce the namespace standard, And uh, in the in the function in the body of the function, we create a new variable of type tuple, and the template parameters are string and int, say student. And uh, the first the first one is name, say Tom. The second one is age, say twenty one, and save it, and uh, compile it again. And it's working, even though we did not use it, but it still returned the value successfully. So that's it. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. And thank you for watching.